New developments in the capital murder trial of accused cop killer Victor Godinez. He is charged with killing DPS trooper Moises Sanchez last year. Today, prosecutors announced they will seek the death penalty. Channel 5's Christian Colon joins us live with the reaction that is already pouring in. Christian. In a virtual hearing today, uh, prosecutors in the case against Victor Alejandro Godinez announcing today they are seeking the death penalty as an option if found guilty, a decision that took nearly a year to make. Trooper Moises Sanchez shot in April of 2019, then after several months and surgeries in the hospital, passing away in August. The man accused of shooting Sanchez is 25-year-old Victor Godinez, facing a capital murder charge in addition to two attempted capital murder charges. But before the death penalty becomes an option, prosecutors must present their case. Former Hidalgo County District Attorney René Guerra says it's all about the evidence. How heinous, how ugly uh, was it? in the commission of the, of the crime, under what circumstances was the crime committed, and then uh, whether he had uh, multiple fatalities. Guerra says other factors go into the decision to ultimately seek the death penalty. What really upsets the community is the community is upset about the, uh, the, kill, the killing and the, and the person that was killed and the, uh, how, it, how it was done. Uh, if, if, it, if it offends your sensibilities, uh, sometimes you will go for the death penalty if the person is uh, eligible for the death penalty. Guerra also says jury selection is extremely important. As of now, the selection process is being impacted by the pandemic. In today's hearing, Judge Leti Lopez saying there will be no jury trials over the next few months because of the pandemic, which likely means next year at the earliest. She also hinted that a change to a larger venue may be necessary if the pandemic doesn't subsize. Colinas is expected to go before a judge next month. Live in Edinburgh, Christian Colon, Channel 5 News at 6.